Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. If you haven't seen my past videos, it's all about using platforms like Hoops or Homebridge to integrate these devices with Apple HomeKit. The whole idea is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. That's the idea. So please do take a look and don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button to follow along. Anyways, on our continuous quest to integrate our not so certified IoT devices into Apple HomeKit, in today's video we will integrate the Bose SoundTouch 300 into Apple HomeKit. Officially, the Bose uh, products are uh, supported by Amazon's Assistant and not by Apple's Assistant. The only support we get from Bose is the Apple AirPlay. Now with this plugin, you can get complete control over the device and also run some automations. If you have seen my Plex Media Server a video that I posted a couple of months back, uh, I used this plugin to integrate the Bose SoundTouch uh, system into Apple HomeKit and run some automations by controlling the sound and the lights. So uh, please do take a look and also I've put it into the uh, card that's uh, in the top right hand corner. For all of this to work, we will need obviously a Bose SoundTouch uh, device. In my case, I'm using the Bose SoundTouch 300. Two, your preferred home automation ecosystem. In my case, I'm using Hoops, but it's also applicable to Homebridge as well. For this plugin installation, we will need only the IP address and make sure it has a reserved one in your router. I have broken down the video into two parts together with the timestamps in the description. They are one. Uh, the plugin installation and the basic uh, configuration to the advanced configuration. So let's not waste time and let's jump into this. Let's first log in into our Hoops uh, platform. And uh, let's scroll all the way down to plugins, search and type SoundTouch. Let's hit install. And uh, while it's installing, uh, let's visit the uh, support page of Hoops uh, together with the step-by-step -step process that I've also included the link in the description. So uh, it'll be easier for you going through this video and also uh, consulting the additional information required to configure the plugin. And also at the same time, let's uh, go into the Bose's uh, website and I did type in uh, SoundTouch. So officially there are all in all 27 products that you can control uh, using this plugin in Apple HomeKit. Now remember, uh, when you're uh, controlling the device in Apple HomeKit, uh, control of volume is uh, done uh, in percentage. So you can call out to Apple's assistant to reduce or increase sound using the uh, percentage parameter. So we have the plugin installed. Let's go and paste the uh, basic uh, configuration to have the device identified in Apple Home. So let's go to the tutorial uh, web page. Let's copy these first few lines. And before we restart the service, let's open up uh, Apple Home and uh, confirm if the uh, device is identified. So we can see in the home, uh, the device is not there. So let's restart and see if it shows up into Apple Home. With the service uh, restarted, let's go into Apple Home and, and uh, confirm. Uh, there we have the device appearing in Apple Home. And uh, let's right click and go into show controls. All in all, you are going to see uh, 13 switches available with the device. Uh, this uh, brings in the uh, HDMI, the Bluetooth, all of your radio stations uh, configured in the app uh, to Apple HomeKit. So this basically exposes all of the features into uh, Apple Home, okay? So we can turn it on. Now, since I have a HDMI SEC connection with my TV, turning on the Bose also activates uh, the TV. And um, 
We can also turn on the radio. Give it a couple of seconds to find the Wi-Fi and connect. If that radio station is not available, we can go to another one over here. So we can use the both volume to it increase and reduce. And you can also turn it off. So uh, th that's with the basic configuration. We were able to import all of the uh, features into Apple Home, control the device volume uh, and radio stations. You can also control the Bluetooth as well as the HDMI. Uh, but with the basic configuration, you can't set some uh, parameters uh, with the uh, uh, device. So the second part, let's go into the advanced configuration using the IP address and uh, breaking down the presets which are the radio stations and also enabling disabling uh, some switches so uh, let's get into that okay for the detailed uh, configuration um, let's uh, go into the step-by-step -step, uh, guide and let's copy this configuration first and i'm just going to copy paste here so if you have seen over here that we have the uh, unmute and max volume of the uh, speaker. So every time you turn it on and off, uh, these are the default values it goes to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just name it over here Bose. Um, I'm going to take off, uh, going to set the minimum volume to 20 and the max volume to 80. And uh, also adding the IP address. So if it's a reserved one, we can also save this in the configuration. And uh, let's select the presets and we will paste it under the, within the accessory section. So go over here, presets. Now I have got a couple of settings already saved. So I'm just going to copy paste the way I want to do it. Uh, so basically what I've done is I've enabled a radio station one. That's the same in the application. Uh, and two, three, radio station four I've enabled, five and six I've disabled. So these are the couple of uh, stations I've done. And another thing I want to do over here is the volume. Um, I want to change it to mode light bulb. So it also helps as well. Okay. So let's save it. So on refreshing the uh, uh, plugin, you see now I've got uh, only the required uh, radio stations that I want. That is uh, Ant1 and Ipanema. The other four I disabled. And uh, from 13 uh, accessories, I've taken it down to nine uh, from the disabled presets. And now I will also disable these two switches that's also uh, not part of uh, my use. So to do that, uh, let's go back into the configuration and uh, you wanna make sure we start after here. And uh, to add that, we need to go down to the global resources uh, that needs to be uh, added to the configuration. So we will pick this. Paste it here and just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Let me consult to my backup and I want to disable both HDMI one as well. So if you want to disable a switch, let's go to the configuration. You see, I want to disable this both HDMI one and uh, we will be able to it. So we just need to uh, enable or disable, right? So we just add the value false. So it's false already over here. So I'm going to just copy this and add in this one. And then I'm going to, just going to get this value over here. Copy. And I'm going to add it here. 
and I'm going to save. So there we are, after restarting the service, uh, we have seen that we have our radio stations uh, enabled and we have disabled uh, the other ones. So uh, let's go back to the configuration. What we did was we've added the platform, we've added some more control with the IP address and volume setting unmute and max volumes. And we've also disabled some radio stations not available. So you can use Apple's assistant to uh, call out by their names uh, and uh, it will work uh, perfectly. Uh, and we've disabled uh, four radio stations. Plus we've also disabled some global sources that were not uh, applicable uh, as well. Now what we'll do is just quickly go and see if it's working uh, perfectly. Uh, let's open up uh, the controls. Uh, we see that the BOSS is on. Uh, by turning off the BOSS, uh, the TV should go off because it's connected by the HDMI uh, CAC connection. Let's turn it back on. And uh, on turning on to the uh, BOSS, you'll also see the TV also uh, coming on uh, as well. Uh, let's turn on the radio station one of the radio stations it will change and uh, we can increase the volume reduce the volume and let's switch to another uh, uh, radio station that's this one you get connection uh, to that world so if I have to call out the uh, Apple's assistant uh, it would uh, use it as turn on uh, Ipanema switch turn on and one switch uh, change uh, volume uh, to that percentage and uh, you can also turning off the Bose turns off uh, the TV as well so that's the additional control you can get uh, with this as well finally there we are collaboratively we have included the Bose SoundTouch 300 uh, sound system into Apple HomeKit. Now to keep all of this going, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button. That's a real driver, that's a real motivator. And also don't hesitate to, uh, to put down the comments. If you have any doubts, I'm willing to help and also share my knowledge uh, with the community. And not forgetting those talented developers out there who make all of this possible uh, for us. So don't forget to also go to their GitHub page and also hit that start button because that's their driver uh, as well. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day, ciao and happy automation.